Hello and welcome to episode 11 of this RPG game tutorial. Uh, today I have a quick one, um, so shouldn't go too long. It's only quick because we set this up well. So um, before we get started, if you guys uh, will take a second and hit that like button, subscribe, comment, do those things. Um, they really do matter. They only take just a second um, and uh, they really help me out and help this channel out. So uh, thank you in advance. All right. So today, very simple. We're going to create some grid objects. We're going to set up hit detection. Boy, I can't spell. I'm supposed to say detection. T-I-O-N. A little bit of dys dyslexia, no big deal. Uh, we're going to add a, a quick item in as well, and we're going to test it. Um, so uh, it's that simple. It's going to be very quick today. Um, and again, it's simple because we set it up well. All right, so first things first, we're just going to add our um, the grid item piece that we're going to deal with. So grid, and then in grid. We're going to add hill, boom, I'm going to do content, copy if newer, okay. and then we have to do the same thing down here in the Android project. So, do, 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 2D grid, and then and that guy. We're going to say Android asset, copy of newer, happy days. Okay, super simple. Uh, first things first that we're going to do is we are going to create our grid objects. Um, and so that will be done in our uh, level. And uh, right now we'll hard code them uh, right in here. So uh, in our grid, we have the ability to add grid items. So grid dot add grid item and then here we're going to say 2d grid uh, hill uh, and then so that's the uh, image that we're using or the asset whatever new vector 2 this is where it goes and this is the location so right now we're just going to use 5 0 uh, that'll put it at the x location of 5 and 0y. I'm going to copy paste this a few times. Do as many as you want. Right now it's just for test purposes. We're not trying to set up a level. We'll get to that soon. But we need this in order to do that. So, oh, my 4 key doesn't always work so great. New keyboard needed. I'll get that done soon. Okay, um, so we created one at 5, 0, 5, 1, 5, 2, 5, 3, 5, 4. So those should be five over and then should be five in a row uh, moving down. Um, let's see if that is running real quick. Make sure I didn't forget a step somewhere. Um, here we go, play, play, there they are. So, uh, and then you can see that they are taken uh, right there. That background basically says they're taken. Um, good, that's where we should be there. The next step is also very, very simple. Um, now, uh, in Hero, we go through all this hit detection stuff, but what we do is we do this process movement, right? And then process movement does all that, and then we come down here and we say test new location, right? So first we see where we're moving, and then we test location. Well, this test location, so definition, should be in unit, and we're testing what's happening. So the next thing we want to do after we test, hey, did we move too far off the grid this way, this way, this way, this way, any way X or any way Y, which we did here. The next thing we're going to do is we want to test uh, if that location is filled. So how do we do that? Well, we say grid location, temp grid loc equals packet. So inside our packet is our grid. So we have temp grid, or packet grid, and then we have get slot from location, and then that one is going to be a uh, template. There we go. Oops, semicolon would be better. Um, and then we're going to say if temp grid loc dot filled, meaning the place we're trying to move to is filled, we are also going to return true. Um, OK, so let's go over that real quick. We're going to say, hey, give me the location. No big deal. Check if it's filled. If it is, we can't move to it. So there's an error. Return true. Right? That's that's how this all works. Uh, so now 
the code comes through here, it tests here, and it errors out. And that's what we're looking for it to do. Um, we are going to test that it hits this location, just in case. Um, so I'm just put a breakpoint there, and we're going to run it. This will take a second because it takes, well, it'll take five seconds because it takes a little while to move over. And I'm going to move down one just because. There we go. There we go. Okay, now here it comes. Hit that location. It should not move now. Let's remove it. It does not move. So here's me pushing the button, and it won't move. And I'm going to push down. There we go. Trying to move over again. It won't move. Now it should move over. There we go. I'm going to try to move to the left now. Won't work. Great. I'm going to try what I should have tried here. Moving up. Won't work. Push down. Push up. You can hear the key going. It doesn't work, which is exactly what we want. Um, so now we have grid locations that you can't move to. Um, so this is obviously a very, very simple piece. Uh, it's a very quick lesson. I understand that. I will try to get to... Uh, doing some of this uh, uh, level creation um, soon. I think I'm probably going to do um, stairs first. Um, I'm not quite sure. I have to think about it. Either we're going to do creating a new one or we're going to do some generation or maybe we'll do a little bit of each like just a really minimum amount of generation and then do stairs. Um, uh, or I'm, I'm really not sure. I have to think about exactly how what the next step is. But that's what we're working towards is level generation right now. We need to be able to block where they were going. That's important. Um, now we've got to uh, start to get that generation moving. So the next few episodes are going to be on generation. I don't know how many. At least three minimum. Maybe many more. Um, so it just really depends. Uh, especially on how much you guys are liking this stuff. So um, stay tuned. We're going to work on that kind of stuff. Um, again, if you guys will take a second if you haven't already, hit that like button, comment, subscribe. I am responding to everything, so if you have a question, ask it. If you just want to say thank you, that's awesome. If you just want to say something to somebody else, that's great. Any kind of interaction is really helpful. Um, I am moving, so I I will try to get one out next week. Um, not no guarantee, but two weeks from now, I definitely won't have one out. So I'm going to do my best to get that done and I'll try to get myself set up so I can keep making these but uh, there'll be a small delay uh, maybe I'll have one next week I'll try there definitely won't be one the week after that I'm moving moving uh, 2300 miles so it's it's not an easy piece so yeah um, that's that uh, I'll see you guys next time thank you guys so much